I love his attitude. I love his swagger. I love his style. It's coming. Uh, I, I love all these things about Cam Newton. Cam, if you're watching this, Duck. phenomenal human being. I love all that. <laughs> Duck, Cam. Uh, but, Sal, here come the shots. I don't even want to dignify this question with a response. That's like, what we're going to do? I don't, <laughs> you I told don't, me in TV we give hot takes. I don't, even, I, I, I don't even want to Woo! dignify don't do this, this question of should the Patriots want Cam, Cam Newton back. I don't want to dignify it with a response. Marcellus. How? Why? I was I was preparing for this, oh, I got and nuts. I was talking to my producer, and I was like, I, I don't I don't I don't even want to respond to this. <laughs> it is such a terrible question. I don't even want to. It's like Marcellus. Fire needs oxygen to continue burning. Ooh. I don't want to give this question Ooh. any more oxygen. But they cut me a check. They cut it. So here I am. Let's talk about um, Let's no, go. the Patriots Ooh. should not want Cam Newton back this season. Mm. Marcellus, you think they should want the, the eight games with zero passing touchdowns back this season? Little should bit. you want the three multiple interception uh, games back for next season? Do you want the six games with <laughs> an interception back? Do you want the nine games where he passed for under 175 <laughs> yards back this season? Like, Marcellus, oh. as I look at this, what about <clears throat> this do you want back? It, it, it's kind of like when we go into 2021, I don't want to see no more TikTok dances. So. I, I don't want to see it now. Like, <laughs> thank you. Yesterday, I didn't want to see it. That's how I feel about Kevin. Oh, wow. He's tiktok I just, I just, I, I didn't want to, I don't want to see it now. What? I don't want to see it next Woo. year. And, and based upon his play, mm. his play, not the person, mm. based on his play, I haven't really wanted to see it as of late. And all I'm going to say is this. Mm. Please don't bring up his completion percentage. The, uh, whatever oh, it's you coming. Do, whatever <laughs> you do during it. your next two minutes of a take, <laughs> say anything but his 65% completion percentage. Oh, it's percentage coming. Because I don't want to see that either. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I'm going to do this in three laps. Please. I've never run a mile in my life. So <laughs> three laps, coach. <laughs> that fourth lap, you give it to me. Damn it. Okay. Here we go. Yes, they should want Cam Newton back. And yes, Cam Newton should want to be back to get that continuity, to get this flow, and to get into flow. Three major question marks for Cam Newton to come into this season. I wish people had the ability, like I do, to reset what your expectations are and reset the calendar. Go back to June 28th when there was talk of Cam Newton and early July when he was signed. The Patriots were trash, hot garbage. And then Cam Newton came, and before they even played a preseason game, they didn't have any, or any regular season games, we were like, I don't know. Is that going to work? What's going to happen? Cam, does he fit with Bill Belichick? Do they mesh well? Even Cam Newton spoke of that. But here are the three question marks for Cam Newton. Durability, accuracy, leadership. Let's talk about durability. Mm -hmm. Was he durable this year? Yes, sir. Yes, he was. You talk about the shoulder this year? Me either. You talk about the foot this year? Yes, Me either. All we talked about was COVID. All right. Put that to the side. Accuracy. Go ahead. Fill it out. You know the completion percentage. Second best in his career this year with the New England Patriots. Now let's talk about leadership and how there are glowing remarks every single week about Cam Newton and his leadership. To the tune of, he was a captain, voted a captain, not even on the team in June. July, you're on the team. You're a captain in August. Cam Newton has been a leader. When you check those three boxes... And then you look at Cam Newton's performances, which I'll get into my next lap. Obviously, you want this guy because you sat there and said the only issues people have with him, why he wasn't signed early in the offseason outside of COVID reasons, was the fact that people had those same question marks about Cam Newton that this season answered. So there will be a market for him out there, but he needs to stay still and have some continuity with the Patriots. But let me bring somebody in to settle the score. Greg paid his Wi-Fi bill, so let's bring him back. <laughs> Greg, spent all that money on that damn outfit, didn't have no money for the Wi-Fi. But should the Patriots want Cam back next season? Um, no. And again, it, it's, it's tough because we do this all the time when we talk about sure. Cam. Everybody wants to talk positive, and the reality is, is, no, man. I, I, the Patriots shouldn't want Cam. Look at look at what you're trying to sell us on, Marcellus. I'm a, the leadership, the continuity. <clears throat> Give us time. What else? What more time can you have when the season is in front of us? When you know, and I loved how he messaged the fans. I thought that was great. Mm. I thought he got out in front of everything. However, it's off or not. What do you? We're bought in. We're committed. 
what, what about this season? You knew the standard coming into this season. You knew the bar. You knew the expectations, and you didn't meet them. And so when you talk about quarterbacks and, and putting them in front of the teams that, has to, that are trying to stop them, their job is to score points. This Patriots offense with Cam under center does not score points. I don't care how much leadership you have. You can take me to the sideline and tell me why we haven't gotten it done. But if you're a part of the reason, then miss me on all of that. And I get it. Cam is great as far as leadership this year. But he hasn't that leadership hasn't led to any type of wins that would allow would have allowed them to enter into the playoffs. And then we would have a different conversation. But until all of that, you you got to throw the stats where they are. And he is right now, he's less than 10 touchdown passes. Like, I, I can't I can't win with that. Mm. I get it. Leadership is great. We got other leaders on this team. We've always had other leaders on this team, which is why the culture has been established of a winning one. But with your leadership, it's great, but we need your production to go and match where your leadership is. My and dog, that hasn't been the case. You, you said he said it, dog. Marcellus, Malcolm Jenkins came on the show last week, Pro Bowl, All Pro Safety. Beast. And he said, in the NFL, there are several things that you need. You need availability. You need accountability. He left off one thing, though, but he didn't really have to say it because <clears throat> there's a word that lies within both availability and accountability, and it is very simple, ability. So Cam Newton had availability all season long, and I respected Cam Newton's ability. Yes, please have that. To a degree, Cam Newton was accountable. He showed up. He was there. I respected his accountability. Oh he had that. But, Sal, sometimes you can simplify things in life, sir, and you can take off account, and you can take off avail, and you can get to ability. And when it talked about ability to play the quarterback position this year, Cam Newton did not do that well. Now, if you want to bring Cam Newton back in a wildcat quarterback role, that is fine. <laughs> and, and we laugh at it, but think about yourself. What did Cam Newton do better than just about any quarterback this season? Run, Run the ball, that ball in the red zone. So please, bring me the benefits of Cam Newton without the negative aspects of Cam Newton. Cam Newton, 32nd in the NFL in red zone completion percentage. 32nd, that is last for those at home keeping track, 32nd in completion percentage in the red zone. I don't want Cam throwing the ball. I want Cam running the ball. Cam, come on back here and do your thing, run the ball. But please, for the love of God, uh. do not throw the ball. I'm going to <laughs> I'm gonna have my passing quarterback come in and throw. Cam, you can come in and be the Wildcat guy. But, Sal, you really have no argument. Oh, I got a great outside argument. Outside of saying Cam should I come even. back and be a runner. Oh, oh, I got a tremendous argument. And I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm going to tickle your fancy in this argument right here. Um, Acho, you were an all-pro one year, correct? Special Put teams. you back on there. Special uh, teams. Special teams. Yes, uh, what, what ranked you as an all-pro? What publication? What site? Let's hear it. Let's just please. Pro, pro Football Focus. Pro Football Focus? Yes, sir. My favorite site. But yours? Oh, they got, you were an all-pro. So let's not discredit Pro Football Focus when you start to hear what I'm about to say because it also propped you up as an all-pro. So, so, and it was so accurate. I'm an all-pro now. Yeah, you're an all-pro. Hey, let's cut this, please. Special teams. I'm going to replay this Nobody a couple play. times. Let's Nobody want to play special teams. Nobody ever started one. Ever oh, sorry. Y'all can hear that? Okay, here's it. Yeah, he's an all-pro. I respect that. Two all-pros up here. What, what, what a coincidence. Here's the thing. Cam has only one wide receiver that pro football focus rates in the top 60 in the league, and that's Jacoby and Myers, the law firm. Okay, let's keep talking about this with a pro football focus, all pro theme. Um, Cam Newton was ranked by pro football focus as having a better season right now than Big Ben Roethlisberger, Jimmy G, Teddy Bridgewater, Tua, Carson Wentz, didn't have to even look deep for that one, and Mitch Trubisky, who everyone is raving over once again. Okay, that's not my argument. That's just a little seasoning to the meat that I'm about to give you guys. Ooh, uh, meat and potatoes I'm about to give you guys. Let me clear that one up. Here's the thing. This New England team didn't have the horses. I'll tell you, you are stupid. This New England team didn't have the horses. So Cam Newton joins a team that he's hyped up, he's happy, he's competitive, he's motivated, fully prepared. But that horse is still going to lose 
to a horse that's just faster than him. I don't give a damn how much between the ears Cam Newton tried to make up and moxie and spread and make it infectious in his locker room. You can't beat a better horse. And there are teams out there way better than the New England Patriots. I keep telling you, go back to the summer what you thought of the Patriots. But that's not going to be the case going forward. New England has over $60 million in cap space going forward. This year, even Bill Belichick, I told kept saying he had excuses, but Bill Belichick kept saying, hey man, we can't do much this year and these results prove it but let's talk about cam newton and, and what's really happening in new england <sighs> i'm such a nerd that i listen to bill you belichick's press conferences at length and when i heard him talk about it this team you know what he said it's not about one player it's not about one person's performance it's about everything and he focused in <sighs> on the rush defense Acho, i asked you a question i want to see what, your face I haven't Marcellus. seen you in a while what is what are the new england patriots ranked in rush defense this I year i guess 17th no oh, worse than that 27th 27th now walk with me here as you like to say Acho. it's interesting that cam newton's top passing performances this year were basically losses six out of seven of cam's top Passing performances this year ended with an L. And the set.